what's going on to the Pisces out there. How y'all doing? So let's get into this. Let's see what's going on for y'all real quick. All right. So for you, Pisces, you've got the, um, the hanged man, which is Pisces, <laughs> ironically, the knight of wands, six of swords, seven of swords, right? Ace of wands, five of wands, three of wands. Okay. All right. Ten of cups. Then you have the high priestess and then you have the king of swords. All right. So if this reading resonates for you, please make sure to uh, come get a private reading from me. Uh, the link to my website is in the comment section below. KareemSpurworks.Wixsite.com. All right. So, so for you, Pisces, you have the, uh, hang, the hangman, the knight of wands, the six of swords. So there was some sort of boundary that needed to be created, right? Somebody was coming in, trying to say what up to you, trying to get to know you. Come here. Always something going on when I'm doing my readings. It's always. Anyway, so what I'm seeing for you is, is that a lot of you Pisces right now, someone's trying to scapegoat you. I'll say this. Some of you Pisces, even around the holiday season, someone's trying to scapegoat you, right? They're coming in because the, the hangman represents scapegoating as well as, it, as well as it represents really digging deep down and getting to know the real you and not tolerating certain things, right? Or needing to do certain things, you knowing that you need to do certain things. So what you need, so what you Pisces needed to do was, is you Pisces needed to kind of essentially create those boundaries and tell this person off, look, you know, this person is not going to disrespect you. This person, you know, you needed to tell them that this person is not going to, you know, treat you just any kind of how this person is going to actually have some form of respect for you. And if they can't do that, they can kick rocks. It's time for them to leave. It's time for them to go. And the Seven of Swords, they didn't think anything of it. It was just like, okay, hey, calm down. Relax. But they, they didn't necessarily think anything of it. It was just like, oh, okay, it is what it is. So now this is a situation uh, for them where they really didn't understand that they missed out and they missed out on you Pisces. The Ace of Wands, the Ace of Wands represents just that. The Ace of Wands represents this person thinks that they're correct, Pisces, by acting the way that, they, that they're doing. They think that they're so fly and that, no, they need to put you, right, finger wagon. They need to put you Pisces in your place. You know, you Pisces, Y'all a little bit too free-spirited for them. They don't trust you. But that's how it is that a lot of you Pisces are. Pisces is a zodiac sign. Y'all are a zodiac sign where the more space you give the Pisces is the more that they'll respect you and the more that they'll love you for it. Because at the end of the day, if a Pisces wants to cheat, Pisces is going to cheat. And there's nothing that no one can really actually do anything about it. I mean, that pretty much goes for anybody, but especially with you Pisces. So it really doesn't mean anything for them to try to act like they don't trust you and they have an issue with you and all this other type of stuff. So the five of wands now represents what the five of wands is, since this is the case, though. Right. The five of wands is, is that. Um, so this creates a lot of. Problems, this creates a lot of discrepancies because what happens is, is that this person is super insecure about you Pisces um, exhibiting or exercising your own freedom. Maybe this person may think that you're going out too much because that's another thing too that Pisces loves to do along with Sagittarius. They're ruled by the planet Jupiter. So they love to go places, Aquarius, you know, Gemini, you know, to a certain extent, but Gemini is included in there, 
You know, they love to go places. You know what I'm saying? And that's how it is that, that the Aquarius essentially loves being in the, in the home. The, 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 the Pisces, I said, may I, may I, I, I may have said Aquarius, sorry, the Pisces. That's why the Pisces loves being in the home. The, the Pisces loves being in the home because they go out so much. Y'all go out so much to the point where when y'all go out, y'all spend so much time out of the house for that day. By the time you get back, you Pisces want to be back. You want to be back in the house. But see, this person doesn't really understand that. This person take that or took that personally. They really had an issue with this. So the situation with that is the three of wands happen, right? The three of wands happen. The three of wands is, um, hold on, let me see. Oh, I know what that is. I remember what that is. The three of wands is this being something for you where, you know, this person, this person, uh, you know, tur just turn that back on you. <laughs> you know, now all of a sudden you're the worst. Like I said, you're the worst person in the world. And. You know, now they turn that back on you. But what they don't seem to understand is, is that on the three of wands, this person actually is holding on to something, right, to keep themselves sturdy from falling off the cliff, so to speak. So these is people who are essentially making a huge mistake by telling you that they don't trust you and dumping you because they may not realize that a lot of you Pisces are really good people. The Ten of Cups now represents. So since this is the case, they basically called it off because they were so rash. So you, you, Pisces, you Pisces was like, okay, cool. If that's something that it is that you want to do, I'm not going to be out here trying to tell you what to do. If you really want so much to call off this relationship, then by all means, call off the relationship. And that's what it is that they did because they thought that you may have been cheating or, you know, this person thought that... Uh, um, uh, you know, there's all types of stuff that, you know, that they, that they done created in their head that may not necessarily really be real because you got to understand Pisces that you Pisces represent, um, you, you Pisces are ruled by Jupiter and, and Neptune. Now Jupiter represents the great expansion or expanding, right? Giving you more or something. But Neptune represents mystery. Neptune represents the idea of, of, the, of the unknown. So a lot of times when what, what a lot of people do is a lot of people, I'm not even going to say most, but what a lot of people do is a lot of people actually end up putting their own two cents on it and creating the story inside of their head or in, inside of their imagination that may not necessarily even be true. So now it's a situation where they created something that that is an illusion because Pisces represents illusion because they telling themselves, oh, you Pisces cheating or, or oh, you Pisces did this, you Pisces did that. When in actuality, that may not even necessarily even really be the case. But they're so caught up in that. And then you have the. The high priestess, the high priestess is look, look at that, right? The high priestess. <laughs> is the high priestess and the king of swords. Look at that. They can hang out with you so much, but the high priestess, they're stalking you. They're thinking about where you are. They're wondering where you are. You know, if, if any of you have any kind of, you know, social media or something like this, come in, come in. If any of you have any kind of social media, they're watching your social media if they know it, whether it's Facebook or Instagram or take whatever it is. They're watching it. They're paying close attention to it. The King of Swords represents, you know, this being a situation for you or them where they're, they're just over there just thinking about it just all day. Just it's, it's, it's ticking, you know, because the King of Swords is a person who is a thinker. It's a per it's a, in that sense, in, in that sense. It's a person who who looks at it and who understands, you know, and, and, and I should say ponders on it, right? Reflects on it. 
thinks about it, really allows itself, this king really allows itself to really think about what exactly is going on, right? To make the better decisions. And this person is over here with their own self, not with you, but thinking about the, the, the stuff that they did and how it was so dysfunctional that right off of the rip, without any, right off of the rip, without any kind of evidence that you Pisces cheated or whatever, or maybe you Pisces was doing them foul, they lack all this amount of evidence. Now, all of a sudden, right, like I said, a hangman, a, a scapegoat in you, right? Right? They're claiming that you did something <laughs> that you didn't even do, right? And And now they made themselves feel you know, they made themselves feel small doing it because now it's they got to be the ones to live with that. So, you know, let's clarify the um, let's clarify the uh, the Ten of Cups. Let's clarify the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups, the Eight of Swords, the Nine of Cups, the Two of Swords and the temperance, which is Sagittarius and you and Sagittarius and Pisces um, <coughs> occupy, uh, occupy a planet, which is uh, Jupiter. Y'all share a planet. So the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Cups represents their own arrogance, their own ego that got in the way, their own... Um, their own idea of them being sure that you Pisces were in the wrong and that you shouldn't be doing what you're doing got in the way. It got in the way because now all of a sudden, right, they didn't even give you, they didn't even give you a chance. Like I said, they immediately skate, uh, scapegoated you. They immediately skipped to you Pisces had to have been cheating. Hey, you Pisces had to have been cheating. The two of swords and the temperance represents, well, so, but now, right, the two of swords is you and the temperance is you as well. But this is about how, this is about, the, the two of swords is really about you trying not to be guarded, right? You were in the you were you were in the short lived relationship, and you did feel guarded, right? You felt like you had to constantly tell this person where you were, right? Whether no matter how long the relationship was, there was a certain point where that type of stuff started to become more important than your own well being and your evolution and the state of the relationship. And now all of a sudden, right? Now, all of a sudden, you find yourself being in a position where you have to defend yourself. You have to say, you were here, you were here, you were here, while they could potentially go out, right? Because they were the innocent ones, not cheating or whatever the case may be. Or, you know, maybe they, they created this process in their head where this delusion in their head where, oh, I'm cheating because you cheated. So that gives me leeway to cheat because, because you really out here, you really cheated first. So the, so the situation with that is, the situation with that is the two of swords. So you have to learn to get over that feeling of, you know, when people do that, right? When you, whenever it is that you start to see people really do some stuff like this, it means it's time for you to leave them alone, right? Don't even be in a relationship with these people. The temperance represents this being a situation for you where it... The temperance is also a, a tarot card about enlightenment, but it also represents being uh, being enlightened from <laughs> the, the perspective, being enlightened from the perspective of going through the experience and knowing what the experience is like, knowing uh, knowing <sighs> knowing what the experience is like, whether you were a success or whether it is that you failed. So let's clarify the high priestess. So 
Let's clarify the high priestess. So you have the Four of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, and you have the um, Page of Cups. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is, is that um, the Four of Cups, right? The Four of Cups represents how it is a lot of you, um, how, like I said, they just keep thinking about, oh, okay, so this, okay, so the Four of Cups actually is like an extension to the King of Swords because it represents what the King of Swords is thinking about in that situation. So it represents them, um, you know, going down memory lane or revisiting their memories, right? Reviewing the relationship, thinking about how a lot of you Pisces, um, you know, um, they're thinking about how you may have tried to do a whole lot for them, get to know them. Or maybe they could be flipping it where they think that they were the ones that was doing a lot. But the night, excuse me, the, the Knight of Pentacles represents you Pisces are pretty much good, though, because the Knight of Pentacles is a person that, you know, isn't isn't broken. It's not a, it's not a person that's easily broken. It's a person that very much so continues to move forward and handles their business. So come here. Come here. Oh my gosh, relax. <laughs> yes. The the uh the five of swords and the page of cups represents. So this is something where the um the uh five of swords and the page of cups is okay, yeah. So you're thinking about well, this person is thinking about how it is that you try to actually be in a relationship with them. While they're also thinking about how they just kept not being with the situation, no matter how. Five of Swords is them basically like shutting the situation down. And then the things that the Page of Cups is them, cr them creating some sort of real, just dis, just, you know, dysfunctional uh, answer to that. No, I don't want to hang out because, you know, my knees hurt. No, I don't want to hang out with you because. I'm watching, you know, I'm watching a football game. No, I don't want to hang out with you because of this. I'm playing a video game, doing this, doing that. And and now they're thinking about it, right? They're thinking about all those times that they that they shouldn't have. So that's pretty much it for now. Uh, comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. I'm trying to make my YouTube channel grow to uh, 10,000 subscribers by the end of June 2023, which is coming quickly, right, faster than I thought. Um, so please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and set the notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop these videos. Peace.